Now, let's understand the advantages of a computer. We have learned about the working of the computer, what all a computer can do, and how does a computer work. Now, let's discuss some advantages of a computer. How is computer good for us? What can it do for us? Storage capacity. Now, the very first advantage of a computer is the storage capacity. It stores a large amount of information. Now, let's compare it with your notebooks. Your notebooks have limited pages. You can store information in your notebooks only on the number of pages it has. Right? And that is very limited. You can store your, your work in a notebook. But you cannot store a lot of work in your notebook. But in a computer, you can store a lot of information. You can store your pictures. You can store your movies. You can store your music. And you can also store documents. The written typed documents. So a computer can store a large amount of data and information. Multitasking. It can do many tasks at the same time. As I told you earlier, a computer can do a lot of work together. For example, you can play music on the computer. Simultaneously, you can make drawing also on the computer. You can do two things together, right? A computer can do two things together. It can play music for you and you can also start drawing on the computer. Or you can play games on the computer, right? You can also give a printout. So you can play music, start drawing and also give, it, give a printout at the same time. So that is called multitasking. When you do number of tasks, more than one task at the same time, that is called multitasking. So a computer can do a, a number of tasks, many number of tasks at the same time. For example, you can listen to music while typing a letter on a computer. Okay. Entertainment. Now you all know it very well. It is a good source of entertainment for the children. You can play music, you can play games, you can watch movies. So a computer can entertain you also. Automation. A computer can work in an automatic way. This makes our work less prone to errors. Now you'll see, you know, computer can do automated work. Sometimes when we are typing and we type a wrong spelling and we have asked the computer to autocorrect, the moment you type the wrong spelling, the computer will automatically correct it to the right spelling. You must have noticed this on your cell phones also. When you type or start typing something, you get the spelling of that word automatically written. So that is called automation. So when the computer auto checks the spellings or correct the spellings on its own, it, has, it makes our work less prone to errors. So we will have less errors because the computer can do the automation. Teaching. It helps the teachers to get information on any topic on the internet as well as present it nicely. Now you all are studying from home and your teachers are giving you slides, showing you videos to make you understand. This all is been done with the help of computer. We get information from the internet. We make slides, we make presentations, and we present it nicely to you so that we can teach you better. So this is how computer is helping your teachers to educate the children. Speed. A computer works very fast without getting tired. Now when we work on something, we get tired. You also get tired. But a computer does not get tired. It works on a very fast speed without getting tired. Calculation. A computer can perform 
complex calculation without making any mistakes. Now, when you do your math questions and you do the calculations, you do mistake, right? But a computer can solve complex problems, you know, very difficult calculations also, very quickly and without making any mistakes. Electronic presentation. Text and pictures in a computer can be presented in a beautiful way. Moreover, these can be edited whenever needed. Now, you all are watching this presentation which I have made for you with the help of entering text and pictures in the computer in a beautiful way. And moreover, I can make changes in this presentation whenever I want. So the way I am presenting this chapter to you, this is called a presentation. Okay. Now let's discuss the disadvantages of a computer. Now when computer is helping us so much and it has so many advantages, it has some disadvantages also. Now let's understand the disadvantages of a computer. Decision. Now, the first disadvantage is the decision. A computer works on human orders and it cannot take its own decision. Now, we as humans, we can take our decisions, right? If we are doing something and, you know, we have a difficult situation, we can think and take decisions. But a computer cannot do that, right? It cannot think on its own. So, whatever you will guide the computer, the computer can do only that much. So, that is a disadvantage. Impact on environment. Now, how can a computer impact our environment? Let's understand. A computer depends on electricity. As you all know, the computer works on electricity. It cannot work without electricity. Now, to generate electricity, a lot of fuel is burnt in power plants that causes pollution. Now, to generate this electricity, a lot of fuel is burnt in the power plants where the electricity is generated. And when the fuel is burnt, it causes pollution. Now, let's understand it. Have you all seen a generator? So, a generator works on fuel. Whenever there is no electricity and we have to switch on the generator, the fuel is burnt and it produces smoke. That smoke is very harmful for the environment. It is called pollution. Similarly, when electricity is generated in the power plants, a lot of fuel is burnt and it pollutes the environment. Cybercrime. Now, what do you understand by cyber crime? Use of internet may also increase the number of crimes like stealing of data, banking frauds, etc. Now, since you have a lot of information stored on your computer, right, and your computer is connected to the internet, so there are some people who can look into your computer and steal your information that's why we have to be very careful and use security when we are connecting our computer to the internet now you all must have seen your parents working on the internet banking right so internet banking is banking through your computer when your computer is connected to the internet and if somebody wants to crack your computer security, they can find out your banking details and can make frauds. They can steal the money from the banks. But you have to be very careful. So that and how you can be careful? You should never share your banking passwords with anybody to keep your information secure. Otherwise, using the internet could be harmful costly 
Now, computer is a costly device. It is not a very cheap device. So, one disadvantage of a computer is that it's very costly. Virus attack. Another thing which is related to the internet. Now, if your computer is connected to the internet, the viruses can get into your computer and your computer can stop functioning. So, it atta if attacked, it may not function as desired. So, if there is a virus attack on your computer, your computer might not work or might not function the way you want it to. There could be some applications which might not work. The music might not work. So, it does not function how you want it to work if there is a virus attack. Health. Now, whose health are we talking about? Let's see. Working for a long time on a computer may affect the eyesight and physical growth of the children. Now, this is related to you. If you use a computer for a very long time to play games, to watch movies and you are continuously sitting in front of your computer, it can affect your eyesight. It can affect your physical growth. So, it is very important that you use computer for a limited time. So, it is not affecting your eyesight and you are not only playing the computer games. You should play physically to stay fit.